righteous. For you to come to God, you must become righteous. You must put down the bad ways, the damning ways. He that is in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away. I think every one of us have a little testimony that, you know, the things I used to do, I do them no more. The place I used to go, I go there no more. You know? So that is to say that there's a change. We have to, there has to be a change. We can't come to God. Any time you come to God, you have to come clean. I said, no, it's here I am. Clean me up. Yes. Amen. Wash me. Amen. Cleanse me. Yes. In your precious blood. Yes. And I shall be white to that soul. Amen. That's the only way. There's no one there. There's no other communication. No. There's no other communication. That's the change. God can't change. But we have to change. Yeah. And his blood, his blood washes and cleans right to the snow. But you know something, I, I think about Saul when God tells Saul to kill. The Amorites was an enemy and the Moabites was an enemy to Israel. Because Israel had to fight against them. And God gave Israel the victory. But God says to Saul, you see those Amalekites? Amal Amal you see those Amalekites? When the children came out of Israel, they came up against them. And God will forget you know. God judged my man is slow, but it's coming. Sure, 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 sure. It might take long to us, but it's coming. You know something? Whatever man saw, it's true in nature. If you saw calm, you're not going to get peace. It's nature. So it is in the natural life. So it is in the spirit. So God said, the mother can just destroy them. Wipe them off out of even children, animal, wipe them out. You see, that's why we have to listen to the word of God and follow it, follow it. You know. God wants us to follow. That's the only way that we can be walking with God if we follow Him. And whatever you say, don't try to change it. But Saul, that was Saul, he thought. Some of the things that look yes. pretty. Yes. You say, no, this is what the eyes start fooling us you now. Yes. The eyes start fooling us. Because yes. the king yes. must be as well as up there. And he look good. Yes. Hey, God. So, 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 well, nice hey, I them but God said destroy them all. So, but he's not listening. So the thing is for us to listen, digest, accept, absorb the word of God. Say amen, Lord. Just say the Lord. Amen, Lord. And God will be with us. But if we divert, you know, as trouble. Because God said to Moses, speak to the rock. It's a rock. No, it's a commander chief. If you don't have any disobey the commander, you don't get punished. You get punished. If you disobey, you can say, God, God behind it. You be reprimanded. So why is it different with God? It's the same thing. He said, kill them all, destroy them all. I know. He said, don't look nice, keep them. 
God said, destroy them. And that's what we have, we have to do with the enemy. We have to destroy them, wipe them out. If you want something, if you, if you know some need, so the only way to make sure that you get rid of them is to have to pull them good down. So when the devil now, we don't cut the head off. You can't when you turn your back and go. It is still there. So we have to root out. And the way we want to use to root out is the word of God. God's word of God. They don't cut off the head of it. And when the shrewd thought of us is gone, it's gone for good. Yes. So God brought judgment upon the children of Israel because they went after the way of Balaam. And Balaam become a curse. Yes. Because his mindset was not to obey God. His mindset was not to please God. His mindset was not to obey and follow the ordinance and the word of God. His mindset was to look for himself like the people these days. They look for wealth and riches and all that. Whatever they can get, they can get in this world. Where does it take us to? Where does it take us to? There's no man who died can take his house. I'll take his treasure to him. He must have taken back to somebody else. So we're just passing through. We are strangers here, just passing through. Virgin, let us remember our God is a God of principle. Our God is, a, is, is righteous in all his ways. You know, David said, I was young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Now I see the right. God not making up one of us in need. God provide for us. I think this is something that we must testify with tonight. How God provide. One of those nights, how God can provide. He provide for us. He knows our need. And he, he promised that he will supply. Oh. Let's 
continue. Press forward. Shall we stand?